So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of bouncy effect with using soft body animation. See guys, that's my bouncy effect. Guys, I teach you how I create this type of beautiful effects. So guys, really simple and best tutorial for beginners. Right, see guys, that's my bouncy effect. So now, guys, I show you my texture and render. So guys, click on here. That's my textures like this and guys click on here that's my final texture yeah see guys that's my final one okay so now guys i teach you how i create this type of effect so guys click on here and create new composition like this and guys delete camera and light so guys select this gear and increase size like this like a eight yeah right and guys i apply bevel effect and segments are like 8 and amount 0 0.05 enter okay so guys select this gear and go to apply to take scale yes so guys wireframe check see guys that's my simple cube okay so now guys i apply this time array so use array effect and guys go to on here that's my factor and z1 change like a minus minus 0 0.9 enter like this and increase count guys count like a 8 is good for me I like 8 guys you can increase more count is dependent on your work right see okay so next one guys I apply this time plane and plane size increase scale size increase like this and rotate guys rotate 90 degree 90 enter yeah and guys little bit more scale size yes and increase height height increase yes it's good right see guys that's my plane okay so now guys i apply collision effect so guys select this plane and apply collision like this simple and guys select this one here stairs and collision check and guys see that's my friction friction I like 2 is good for me simple guys right I change only friction here okay so now guys press 1 and I apply more stairs like this Okay, so guys select and duplicate, press Ctrl C and V and rotate like this, like 180 degree, enter and guys create composition like this. Yes, right. Okay, so guys little bit more down, guys select the stairs and duplicate and go to down like this. Yeah, see guys that's my composition right okay so now guys i take one more time plane and plane size increase like this yeah go to down see guys that's my plane and next one guys i take cylinder yeah little bit more yes and guys use this time cylinder here and guys i change settings so guys see that's my fill cap to change nothing and vertex like a 150 and increase radius like this guys i take like a five is good for me five actually six six and guys increase that like this yeah okay so now guys apply on here and go to down here yes guys go to on here like this okay so guys now i increase thickness so select this cylinder and use solidifier and thickness increase like this like a 0 0.3 is good yeah right see guys that's my 
cylinder and guys I apply same collision effect so guys select this cylinder and collision check and guys select this plane base plane and collision check that's it guys right see guys that's my simple composition and next one guys this time I apply outer cube for collision so use one more time cube and increase cube size increase like this and guys press one guys click on here like this guys increase more yes see guys that's my composition right it's really good guys more okay so guys increase this size increase and little bit down yeah see guys that's my outer cube increase and guys press 3 so guys change size like this yes yeah see guys that's my outer cube so click on here see guys that's my outer cube right Okay, so guys select this outer cube and apply same collision, but guys this time go to on here soft body and cloth guys change dumping and thickness. So guys dumping I like 0 0.5 and guys outer like a uh, one in a 0 0.5 and see guys that's my friction friction I like 10 enter and guys see that's my single shield to uncheck. And normal check yes see guys that's my simple setting on here that's most important part okay so guys select this outer cube and hide and hide on render yes and next one guys I apply this time spare so guys go to add and use UV spare yeah and guys I up and go to on here guys increase size so S letter increase yes yeah it's good and little bit up yes see guys that's my spare so go to on here okay so now guys this time I apply right click shade smoother and guys go to on here and use cloth check guys select this spare and I apply cloth so guys quality step I like 10 and guys go to on up vertex mass i like 0 0.5 yes and guys go to on it's good pressure pressure check guys pressure i like 10 enter and guys go to on collision collision guys i like 5 and self collision check right okay so now guys go to on catchy here and see guys that's my end guys catch amount I like 1000 is good enter and guys lastly go to collision here see guys that's my second one collision and see guys that's my friction friction I like 0 0.2 is good actually 2 enter yes see guys that's my some settings right okay so now guys go to back and play yes See guys, that's my bouncing effect. It's good. Okay, so guys stop and guys increase friction like a five and play. Yes, much better. Yes, see guys, that's my bouncing effect. So guys go to back and play. Right, see, it's really good. Okay, so now guys, this time I apply material. So guys, I have already create material. So go to on file and append. Guys, you can download material from my website. It's free. So like this. And guys, see that's my material here. That's my different different style of material. So guys, like a BG. And guys, click on here. Plane and apply BG material like this. Right. Okay. So guys, select this. I apply red material like a red and select guys apply red material 
yeah it's good select and apply red material right it's really simple and lastly apply and guys select this plane and pg yes right okay so now guys select this add and i create plane for this one so select this one and duplicate so guys go to here rotate 90 and guys yes yes see guys that's my side wall right okay so now guys this time i create material for this pair select and guys go to on append and guys go to on gold mat like this select and apply like this yes and guys half spare so press one and guys half spare so click on here and guys go to on edit mode select this pair edit mode and guys select this vertex actually face i select this one yes see guys that's my half spare right okay so now guys apply material so append and guys use marble material marble like this and guys edit mode and guys see that's my add material slot check and apply marble material and assign material check yeah that's it guys right so guys click on here like this see guys that's my marble material guys you can download material from my website it's free and project file right okay so now guys select i create new collection and collection name like a spare like like a balls enter guys select this pair drag and drop simple so guys select this pair and guys i create animation so collision object go to cloth and see guys that's my end guys end frame like a 1000 is good and bake all dynamic check guys take little bit time for baking okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play yes see guys that's my really cool bouncing effect yeah it's really good yeah really good okay so now guys that's really cool yes really good right that's my final animation and now guys stop and go to back guys i apply more spares so guys select this pair and delete all big check guys i apply one more plane on this one so guys i take plane and guys plane check guys increase plane size like this yes and rotate like this guys rotate 90 and guys apply on here for this one yes guys little bit down okay so guys closer on here yes right and guys select this plane go to on up select and i apply same collision collision check and guys hide and hide on render yeah that's it guys okay so now guys i apply more spares so select duplicate copy and go to on here like this and guys apply more spares is depending on your work like this and duplicate and go to on up yes see guys that's my spares and guys you can apply more like this yes right see guys that's my spares okay so now guys select this spares and guys one more time bake all dynamic checks see guys i use this one bake all dynamic and guys bake all dynamic check guys take little bit time okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play so closer yes see guys that's my bouncing effect it's really cool see guys it's really good 
and go to on here guys lastly you can create only camera movement animation yeah it's really good see guys that's my final one right okay so guys my final animation is finished guys i use only 600 baking frame guys you can increase like a 1000 okay so now guys i apply simple sdri environment texture so guys open guys i have environment texture like this yes and guys go to on render guys cycle render and divide gpu check guys max amp i like 1 to 8 and 1 to 8 is good simple and now guys i take camera and camera check guys set your camera angle yes right okay so guys i show you only one frame render so render image check okay see guys that's my beautiful final render it's really good so guys close and guys lastly you can create only camera movement animation so guys go to on here like this and guys set your camera angle yeah guys 90 0 and 90 check right and guys press i and camera location rotation check yes and guys go to back and play yeah and guys yeah it's really good so guys stop and guys camera change camera angle change like this yes and guys again location and rotation check guys i press only i letter yes and guys go to back and play yeah it's good right and guys go to on here like this closer and press i and check and guys go to on here and guys here and guys press i and check and lastly guys yes okay so guys go to on here and press i and check yeah that's it guys right and uncheck locate and guys go to back and play see guys that's my camera movement animation it's really good it's really simple guys okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished it's really good that's my final camera movement animation okay so guys that's it my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you